Alright guys, we are officially doing, well my, Drew and Jay have been turkey hunting a lot. This is my first turkey hunt with the boys. Got all four guys out here, Drew, Jay, and Kendall at one of my favorite suburban turkey spots. I've hunted here for years, but there's one particular stubborn bird that, like we've been after for two years solid. He's really smart. He's got to be old and big. Uh, the people are actually letting us hunt, but they are being asking us to be very careful because their whole family is isolating here from the coronavirus pandemic. So he asked that we stick to early mornings. We'll be out of here before they even get up. Thankful for them to let us come out here, but it's a very clear reminder that we all need to be safe. We're out here as a group, but we're staying apart from each other and just trying to be safe about it. So encouraging all you guys out there to still try and get outside, keep your sanity, but be safe and do the social distancing and whatnot. But all that being said, really excited for this morning. It's like perfectly calm. It should be like a perfect turkey morning. So hopefully, hopefully we're some goblin soon and maybe we can get it done. I think they see this ditch that goes back this drainage yeah. I think sometimes they roost way back yeah. in here and then work their way here because I've been here in the morning several times where we don't hear anything yeah and then after like 45 minutes That's it's like right. boom sounds off well high point here high here so they just they walk up here and they pitch off into here they pitch off from up here over into here yeah but yeah you can't hear that real good from right here yeah I mean you can but it'd be like barely yeah I don't know if y'all downloaded on X but it's probably like one of our biggest secrets I don't know if it's a secret, we're telling people about it, but we've used it for years. And it's like the reason we find all of these places. Doolittle. I'm not discouraged yet, but we're gonna ease over to like the good area, kind of set up, start calling, see if we can't get anything to fire up. A lot of times in like high traffic areas or loud areas, uh, interstates, there's a lot of sirens and stuff going on and loud noises and the turkeys are so used to loud noises, it doesn't shock them until gobble anymore. So they have to do their thing in a tree, pitch down, and then they get fired up trying to get that hen to come in. That's what we're gonna try to do. Slide across the pond dam. Get set up. Yeah. Ease up on this tall ridge so we can get real high, high ground, and just start broadcasting calls until hopefully we pick one up and we can draw him in. See, he just said across the pond dam, oh, Jake. That's what he said. Totally makes sense. Jay's painting the picture of one really thirsty hen. I think that's what I learned about him. He's like always painting a picture. I don't know what he told that owl, but I know what he's saying with this hen call. To me, this is a typical morning over here. You don't hear anything. So we just need to start fishing, and then we'll hear one. Love what sound? You want you want me to go? I, I need I need some assistance. <clears throat> This is this is just vocals. Not, all natural. All natural voice. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. That's I'm, not bad, right? I'm pretty yeah. That would definitely work. Really? Yeah. yeah. For real? Yeah. I mean not with I wouldn't take you with me, but I mean it would work. <laughs> yeah. Give me a rating one to ten in the comments of how 
good slash bad that was because I don't know if you're messing with me right now. <laughs> I'm serious. If I had to call one in with my mouth, it'd have to be a cluck and purr. <clears throat> Give us your best cluck and purr. It's the, it's the only turkey title I'll ever have. It on doesn't you. bother me a bit. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm not bothered. I don't. How many hundred acres is this? Thousand. Like, thousand? Yeah. That big? Yeah. Okay. So bigger than I thought. A thousand acres. We have just a little piece. So if they're not on our little piece, they've got literally, well, a thousand, a thousand acres. Thousand acres they can so, run. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't hear, but probably the way these these hills and everything lines up. You can probably only hear 300 yards at best just because mm -hmm. they roll so there could be one valley and they could just be burning it up on that valley strutting back and forth and then nothing but once they breed all the hens that are on in this thousand acres they'll start roaming a lot more and looking around it's, we, it's we've always heard early birds. Yeah, yeah yeah we've always they're heard here. birds here they're right. here but it's still pretty early and i don't i don't think we've typically come until like later in april anyways it's remember. usually when that bird is there so, I mean, he could be wandering around looking for hens or whatever, but the plan is to come back in a couple weeks and uh, give it another go. So, anyways, we'll try it in a couple weeks. started. This is our second turkey hunt this year, at least my second turkey hunt this year. And we're actually dealing with some nuisance turkeys in suburbia today. Uh, a buddy of mine, Hunter, drives by this house all the time and is seeing tons of turkeys in this field. And so I knocked on this guy's door and he's like, they are everywhere. He's like, they're tearing up my pine straw. He's like, every time I put pine straw out, they're ripping it out. Gonna be, I don't know what you want to set up, dude. This is going to be kind of tricky. Are we on the property line? Probably pretty much rides the top of this hill. Okay. The top of the hill? Yeah. And that's his fence line all the way down. And I think all these turkeys roost in this pine thicket up here. Our property line is really small here. And I was practicing a lot at like 10 to 15 yards last night. If we get a chance, I'm going to try and shoot this turkey in the head.
right in the head, dude. Shut up, shut up. Naked devil. Kill the other one, kill the other one. Call, call, call. I'm gonna run get him, I'm gonna run get him. Alright, okay. get him, get him. Uh, what just happened? <laughs> that escalated quickly. I have never in my life shot a, a turkey in the head with a bow. That was with a normal broadhead. That was not like some guillotine broadhead. And this guy came back and freaking got him too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That was crazy. Drew and I got here and we're like, where do we set up? Where do we set up? There's not where any set up. We sat down. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I know there's turkeys here, but we haven't heard a thing. And then all of a sudden I look in, the, in our guy's front yard, literally standing by his American flag pole. There's these two gobblers in the boat, just like strutting and gobbling. I mean, I, I, I was not expecting this at all, at all. Let's call Jay. <laughs> is a two and a half inch spur big? Is that a joke? No. I, dude, I don't know turkeys. Yeah, well, one and seven eighths is a state record. Then this blows it out of the water. This is at least two and a half inches. What? Yeah, they circle like way up. Like they don't, you serious? know how they go straight? Like this one like hooks way up. Like almost in a full circle. Send me some pictures. Is that like state record stuff? Yeah, if it's a complete circle, that's for sure. It's a it, <laughs> poor girl. That would be at least four inches. <laughs> oh man, you are too easy. For real. It might be a state record. Who knows? <laughs> nice. This is our buddy Hunter. He's like, dude, I've been seeing these turkeys like crazy, man. Oh, dude, they're nuisance, all right, because there's so many of them. Like, Tons of first them. of March, there was like 12 long beards and like four hens out here. These, these turkeys are decimating the grub population out here, so yeah. the grub numbers, worm numbers, cr uh, cricket numbers, real low. We need to bump those numbers up, so we got to get rid of some of these guys. Oh, yeah. It's all about conservation, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just the ratio is off, so taking out a few of these birds is not going to hurt. And plus, it was. Yeah, but was, that grub population, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. conservation, we're all about it. The grub mm -hmm. population getting decimated, as you know. Yep. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, look at his fame. <laughs> what? Dude, I'm just messing with you. I'm just a game <laughs> Hunter's genuinely concerned about the grub population out here. Right? I, you know, I figured you knew what he was talking about. I was going to let He's you. Like, yep, let you uh -huh. those grubs, yep. <laughs> sure, man. Tough times for a grub out here. <laughs> That's a big win for today. It'll keep me from going to the grocery store because I do not like going to that right now. Craziness. There's one. It's kind of a, I don't know, tough reminder that, you know, sometimes you get outside in the woods and you kind of forget about what's going on, but we're watching people funnel in and out of this grocery store with masks and gloves on. And I mean, it's scary to know we're still in the middle of a pandemic right now. And I just, I just encourage all y'all out there to get outside, hunt, fish, whatever you do to get outside and kind of take your mind off of this stuff. I mean, it's crazy right now, but this morning was more than we could have ever asked for. It was such a gift to be able to experience that and take, literally thought those were cops coming for us. <laughs> to take a couple minutes to just kind of be still and get away from it all, really just is good for the soul. Uh, it's good Friday. Easter's coming on Sunday, and I know I talked about it earlier, but Good Friday is the story about you know Jesus dying, and, and it seems like the worst news ever, and we're in the middle of the worst news ever right now, but there's good news coming, so we'll get through this pandemic. 
Um, we're praying for y'all. We're doing that prayer list on our on our Instagram. If you need prayers, send us a DM and we'll put you on a prayer list. Um, I didn't have this place until like a week ago, so don't be afraid to pick up the phone, call someone, knock on a door. I mean, that is what we do at Seek One and all of our hunting and fishing is that sometimes all it takes to get access to a really cool place where you can double up on birds is just by simply making a phone call or knocking on the door. So never stop doing that. Never stop trying to get more permission to find new adventures like that. So thanks for watching this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it and we will catch you again later. Almost forgot the precious cargo. <laughs> hey buddy. Oh man, how I miss you. Dude, I totally forgot you had that with you. Oh, this episode's also on our YouTube if you haven't seen it. Can never be too safe. Safety first. That's rule one.